Hey guys, how's it going? Jamie here. I've got a pretty cool map here called uh, Christmas Refinery or Xmas Re Refinery. It's a really cool map and um, as you're watching now, uh, this is me playing it earlier. Uh, I quit at level 21 because I got pretty bored. And um, yeah, all I'm going to be doing is pretty much doing what you're watching now. I'm just going to be uh, sort of rape training about. And um, the Christmas trees that you see there, there's like four or five of them and they're actually soul cages. And there's, I think there's Quick Revive. Um, so if you get down, you can pick yourself back up. There's Juggernaut and Triple, uh, not Triple Tap, and Double Tap. I'm not really too sure if they're sleight of hand. I actually haven't come across it yet. And uh, as you can see, I've got the Ray Gun Mark II there. And um, there's quite a lot of box locations. Um, I haven't, like, really looked into the story of the map fully. Uh, I've just sort of played it, which is um, what I'm going to do basically now. And uh, so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm not really going to be doing the story or anything uh, or buying the Bible ending. Um, so, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. So, here you go. Hey, guys, how's it going? And uh, welcome to... Christmas Refinery or Xmas Refinery, um, created by Roland Math 42. Um, Roland Math 42. Um, so I'm gonna be playing single player. I'm still waiting for you guys to come in and um, add me on Skype, add me on Twitter. I oh, know, follow me on Twitter and tweet to me or whatever, or send me a message. Just get in contact with me, and I want to know um, like if you guys want to play with me or not because I really want to play online with someone because I'm playing solo and it's quite boring on my own and I think it'd be more fun and we get more done if I was playing multiplayer with someone. And uh, yeah, as you saw, uh, like in the in the first bit of this video uh, in the intro, um, if you like go back to the start of the video that that point um, where I was just talking about how I did, um, I got up to level 21 and then quit. Uh, because I got pretty bored and um, as I said, I think I said in the intro um, that I'm gonna basically just play the map, I'm not gonna go along with the story like do all the um, soul chests or anything, I'm just gonna sort of play zombies, get guns and kill stuff and um, yeah, you can do uh, gun game, arcade mode, shop shooter, bounty hunter or just classic normal and uh, time gameplay, um, no objectives, I think if you're on one of these um, you can change it, I'm not too sure maybe not um, but go ahead and start game and um, yeah it loads up pretty quick because uh, you already sort of load up the map when you when you click on solo um, so quick revive and you start off with a PDW and this is only a couple shot kill and I don't want to get that because I want to get some points and um, as you can see on there the snowmen contain secrets they do indeed the snowmen do contain secrets and um, you can buy guns and that. So the blister is the sniper, and it's like one shot kill up until wave like 13, and then it becomes like two shot kill or something. That's pretty good. And um, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll stick with it. And yeah, it's just pretty good. Um, right, let's just get some more points. And to be honest, I don't really need that for now. I've got instant kill. I was going to buy it, uh, the blister, but I don't actually need it. Uh, but the blister is really, really powerful. Like in this, I'm not sure if you can change like the power of like the blister and everything. I need to turn my volume down. It's quite loud. That's a bit better. And uh, yeah, my computer's quite laggy. I'm on um, I'm on 30 frames because this map is pretty big. And I try to keep my computer at a constant frame rate, and it like changes from 30 to 40. Uh, it's meant to be at 40, and it changes because it can't cope with the power of the map. Um, in other words, I've got a pretty a pretty crap PC, but it's fine just for gaming, but when you record a game at the same time, it just lags out. I think it might be my hard drive because my hard drive is quite slow. Oh shit, there's a zombie behind me in there. Oh well. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, do you know what? I'll grab that. <laughs> that was close. Okay, so we'll go out here, and uh, this is the only door in this bit, and here's our first soul. Um, soul box? Is it? I don't even know if it's what it's called. Is it a soul box or like a soul, soul chest or something? And um, basically, the Christmas trees are them. There's one up there, and I think there's like one down there and one over in that area. So there's four all together, and I think you can get a Bible ending. Um, I I can't remember. I'm not too sure. I think it said you can get a Bible ending. Um, <clears throat> we will find out soon. So uh, I'm gonna be in this room for quite a bit. I'm gonna buy the Remington because it's pretty good. It's quite powerful, and I'm about to die. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we'll kill all the zombies um, next to this. Um, and yep, all the souls of the zombies then go in. Oh, great. Good one. Great one. And yeah, I've got quick revive, so that stops you from from dying. I think, well, you don't, it doesn't stop you from dying. You just get back up and you get knocked down. Uh, That's kind of a stupid thing. I shouldn't have ran into there like that. 
Uh, but yeah, like I haven't been play, I haven't been playing zombies for such a long time that I don't really know what this does. I don't know if you have to unlock all of them to be able to access like the pack punch, or if it's different for every map. I'm not too sure. God, that lag. Um, yeah, like I'm not really 100% certain. I, I don't really know. Um, anyway, that is yeah. You can only get this three or four times, I think. Um, so not not many times. Uh, but yeah, as I said, I'm not really going to be playing along with the story. Uh, because um, I don't even know if there is a story or not, but I just want to sort of play the map because some zombies in that. Um, if I get on, if I get more people, so well, if I get people anyway in general, and I start playing online with some people, then I'll start to do stories because it's probably easier to do. They're not difficult. You don't have to worry about like getting down because you've got other people they can carry on for you. So the only time that I'd sort of play a story and try to like buy. And unlock parts, if you know what I mean. So you can build like a machine or something. Would be if I was online because if I just prefer it if it was online. If it's on solo, it's quite difficult, and I don't really want to do that. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm pretty much just gonna be playing zombies in general on solo because I don't want to have to bother about getting like the story done, not all that sort of stuff. So I just like to play it. Uh, so yeah, if you want to play with me, my Skype name is in the, in the description. You can contact me on Facebook and all that stuff. Um, I'm, one of the things I'm not certain about is if you can go in there. I'm pretty sure you can. I don't think I've been up there before because there, there might be a door on the right. Because um, you you go like in on the right up there. Uh, I think you can. I've never been up there. And that's probably where the fourth perk is because I only managed to get quick vive. Crap. Uh, double tap, which is in this door over here. In this one, and then Juggernaut, Juggernog is up there, I think, in another room. And sleight of hand, I'm guessing, is going to be up there. Oh god, somewhere up there or in there. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, as you saw at the start of the video, uh, I was just basically rape training around this bit, and that was all I was doing. Um, so yeah, the only doors is this one. It goes into a little room with nothing in apart from the perk. This is a box location. It costs 1,500, and this is 1,500 as well. No, it's not. It's 1,750. Oh my god, that's close. And um, uh, so yeah, there's not that many places to go. It's quite, it's quite an open map, but I, I guess you could say it's quite compact because uh, some of the areas are just generally quite compact. So we will go to the box, which I believe is up here. Most of the time, it's on this catwalk up here. Yes, it is. And there's another. Soul box, soul cage, whatever you want to call it, and uh, they got pretty cool gun guns in here actually. And a blister, which I could have got for cheaper at the starting room, but it's fine. It don't matter. But yeah, I, I haven't actually been that way. Oh crap! I didn't know you there. And um, yeah, like oh, I didn't. I haven't actually been to the left yet, so that's definitely a place to go. Uh, I'm not getting the max ammo because if I kill zombies, I'll just I'll save it because oh, okay, I'll get it now. Fine. Uh, double tap is actually a really really good thing to get if you've got a shotgun because it means that you pump the gun faster and then if you have sleight of hand as well you pump the gun faster and you reload faster and it's just all around so much better so that's why if you've got a shotgun I would recommend getting double tap and um, yeah there's a zombie counter at the top and yeah I, I don't know why I say it now but as always the download link is in the description if you'd like to download the map um, go check it out, I'll definitely put the link in the description and you can download it, but the thing is if like if uh, I've uploaded this and you're watching this like two years from now then the link might not work, it might work, uh, I'm not 100% sure so if it's not then, oh which one's more powerful? okay, <laughs> the other one it might be, this is pretty cool, I've never used this this is quite cool can't you like move the sights out or something? Then you can, but I don't really know how. It's not really a powerful gun, is it? It's not too great. 25 zombies. I don't want to get trapped down that alley. <laughs> Getting trapped on this map is horrible because you can see like there's no corners or anything, so you can sort of well, depends where you are. So say I was down here. <clears throat> I was going around a corner or something. Wait, that doesn't even make... Just scrap that. I was going to say something, but I just realised it doesn't even make sense, so don't worry. That doesn't work. Oh my god, the lag. 
Like, it's so... It, this just lags so much. It's so bad. I really want to get a better gun, but I want to unlock the door. Double points. Nice. Is that the M4? M16. Not really that good. But it will do for now. Whoa. My phone is buzzing. <laughs> Where are you going, Otto? Where are you going, my friend? Right. This should be alright. The Ripper should be alright. I just need to get a max ammo. And then I should be fine. What is my phone doing? It's buzzing off in my pocket. Which playing it? Who is it? It is someone from school. And I have never been in this bit. And I'm quite scared. Oh. I've never been over here. And there's other rooms that I didn't even know about. How cool is that? Oh crap, this is not good. I need to get a Juggernaut first. Where is Juggernaut? I've forgotten. Oh, it's over there. In the other bit. Really far away. <clears throat> oh, I nearly choked. I swallowed and like threw up. <laughs> no, I didn't. That didn't happen. Actually, this is a lot more powerful. I will take the double points, please. I don't think there's any barriers in there, which is pretty good. So you can stand here and shoot. And um, you, if you're if you're a camper, this, then this is a pretty good map. But, well, this sort of fits both like zombie personalities if you if you're if you like to rape train or if you like to camp I mean you can rape train in here you can camp down these alleys it sort of works both ways so anyone who likes to camp or anyone who likes to um, anyone who likes to rape train run about then I guess this is a pretty cool map to use uh, I want to get juggernaut because I don't want to die and I think you can um, I don't think you need to turn the power on, you can just go get it instantly. You don't have to turn the power on. Um, so I'm going to go get Juggernaut, do the box one more time, see what I get, and then I'll go unlock those doors because I've never been in there. And I'm guessing it's going to be something like this in here. It's just a long corridor. Uh, oh, for God's sake, <laughs> really. Oh, I've got to do the box again. Um, No. No. <laughs> Do I want to get it? Oh god, this is so horrible up here. What's here anyway? What gun is it? Oh, it's this thing I have. Oh, great. That is so perfect. I mean, this is actually pretty good if I had a max ammo. But I don't know if you can get, like, the box in it. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to just grab that. Oh god. Oh, for god's sake. Really? Teddy bear knew it. Max ammo. Thank you very much. See, look, it's already here. Already trying to kill me. Oh, yeah, it's going pretty high up. <laughs> Pretty high, my friend. <laughs> my friend. <coughs> oh. I have had quite a bad cough for some reason. But yeah, I've never unlocked this door, so. Oh, yes. I never knew there was a pack punch. I never knew it. And there is something down here. It is. By Ripper. What the hell is a Ripper? Oh, crap. This is not good. Well, there's a Ripper. How much was it? Wait, Ripper. Is that what I had a minute ago? Oh, for God's sake, it is as well. <laughs> Damn it. I didn't even realise. It's pretty cool. I can jump over the balcony if I need to. I had... Oh, all the trees need their souls. Then this does something. Maybe I should try do all the souls. So I'm guessing it's different for every map. You need to do all the souls and you get something new. Like on some maps, it might open the Pack-a-Punch room. On other maps, it might give you a perk or something like that. I never knew that. And now I know what they do. And I never knew. <laughs> I never knew about it. That's pretty cool. Damn it, I didn't mean to get that. God damn it. There's double points over there. Thank you very much. No, you don't. Okay, this gun is not that powerful. Not that powerful. I suppose you could have someone camp over there and where I'm standing now. So you could have people camp in different areas. So, yes, yeah, someone here someone over there and then if you get crowded just jump off the edge I'm I think that's quite cool actually uh, they've done like a good setup with the map and wait to pack a punch I think the pack a punch was already open wasn't it uh, what could I pack a punch I could pack a punch ripper then I could just buy the ammo for it I suppose that'll work I'll be pretty good and then I'll, I'll go do the box and I'll try to get like the ray gun mark 2 because ah, I just got chest pain uh, I'll try to get the ray gun mark 2 because that's pretty good on this map but I think with like wonder weapons, if you like shoot yourself, it gets rid of Juggernaut. Because I was playing online and I had the wonder waffle and someone was like, no, get rid of that. They put in chat like, 
get rid of it and this was like yesterday or day before on PC we are on Derise and um, they were like put that away because if you like zap yourself it gets rid of your juggernaut it doesn't like it doesn't physically get rid of it if that makes sense like the perk icon on the left here it will stay there but the zombies can hit you in two hits and that's why I don't think Wonder Weapons are such a good idea um, but I'm not sure if it's the same with the ray gun and that but I know like from now on not to touch the uh, <laughs> not to touch the um, the Wonder Wolf because it's really a juggernaut and I never knew that I never knew that I only found out yesterday and Zombies has been out since like 2008 or something when do, I don't know when World of War came out I'm guessing quite a long time ago god this computer lag so annoying um, oh for god's sake oh do you know what I'll finish this round there's only four zombies and I'll grab a max ammo ah uh, no boom and now I'm going to upgrade the ripper or should I upgrade this now nah, we'll do the ripper do you know what? we'll do both <laughs> we'll do both <laughs> when I get the more points that is oh that is pretty cool piss poor master okay that is that is quality. That is quality. Look how much ammo it holds. Oh. Oh. My. God. That is insane. But the fire gets in the way so I can't see any zombies. Which is quite quite annoying. But if you get headshot then it just kills them. I think. That is sick. This is so cool. It's got like gold or autumn. Um, uh, like autumn... What's it called? Camo on it. Oh, this is insane. I like completely had no idea there was a pack punch there. I'm guessing. What the hell? How did he. What? How? <laughs> How is that even possible? How is that possible? Why are they all falling off the, like, the side of the map? I'm guessing like every round we should just buy a gun and upgrade it, pack punch it, see what it, see what it turns out to be. I should have reloaded, shouldn't I? To grab that. Right, let's see the difference. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty poor. Ow! Should we go upgrade this? See what it's like? See what it's like? The Ripper? Boom! Shredder. Oh, that is sick. That is cool, I do. Right, we'll jump down here and we'll try and get these souls done. And I'll buy this and then... I think we should be fine for the time being. Oh, every gun like burns stuff, which is quite cool. Do you get more points if you burn stuff? Uh, I don't think you do. I think you just get stuff. <laughs> you just get stuff. You get money. Uh, should we try to do all these soul these soul trees? But in this area, it's quite easy because you have a large area to sort of train about. But then you go in here, and oh god, oh god, that's close. And they spawn everywhere. So online, it would be so much easier in this map, and it's so much more compact. So you can't really do much around these trees so yeah unless you get like shit unless you get um oh my god I'm about to die no I'm not unless you get this and then you kill them all around the tree although you can't shoot through the tree which is quite weird boom and then I think it makes like a weird noise in the map it makes like some funny noise when the tree is done uh, but I think we'll stay like in this room and I don't know what that thing does, uh, like the, the thing that was up there. What did it do? I don't know. I don't know what it does. Should we go up here? It's probably not a good idea to be running upstairs in a small compact area. We'll go over to the box and we can muck about here. Because they've got some pretty boss guns. And what should I trade? Uh, oh, I suppose we could see what this is like. Crap. Um, shit. The bears. Yeah, fuck this. Hang on, I'm about to die. Okay, I got. To, I got to quickly jump down here. Oh crap! <laughs> oh, I lost all my perks. I think it's because I did the box. I shouldn't have gone to the box. All I wanted to do was upgrade a gun. Oh crap! Let me just zoom in. All I wanted to do was get this briefcase gun and upgrade it. Okay, I think this might be quite cool upgraded. It's like a point whoring gun. You get loads of points from it. Point whore. Look at that. Plus 1,000. 
and we're doing the tree at the same time. I'm in the perfect rate training spot, and I'm giving the trees their souls, which is pretty good.